Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we're going to put my Barista Express against La Pavoni Esperta. Yes, you hear correctly, there will be Barista Express versus La Pavoni. Now, you may ask, Jack, are you crazy? Jack, are you drunk? Well, I, I, I might be both, but uh, this is my coffee show, so let's get ready for rumble. So, two extremely different machines, uh, two machines that I really love. I will show you a few similarities and a few differences first. So, both of those machines, in my opinion, both of them, they look great. Sage, Barista Express, kind of a retro style from 70s. La Pavoni, well, it looks like from 19th century. Those pressure gauges, everything made out of steel. Uh, sage, almost everything possible. Almost everything possible is, is plastic but especially in this color in black it looks stunning talking about stunning uh, la pavoni well it speaks for itself uh, that birdie on top is almost too much but i do love it i do love it so i really like really like this this machine as well <laughs> now the size wise the height as you can see if you if you count the the eagle on top they are about the same now uh, the length i would say well the la pavone is slightly wider at the front and narrower at the back but i would say uh, barista express is about twice as as long as la pavone and the width is about the same la pavone is slightly shorter but it's almost the same so if you like myself if you have a limited space in a kitchen la pavoni might be might be a better choice now with barista express when you buy it you've got basically you've got everything you need to make a coffee so obviously there is a inbuilt grinder you get the tamper you got you get a one porta filter uh, four uh, filter baskets and a few other things basically everything you need to make a coffee La Pavoni Esperto you've got two porta filters lots of uh, one two three filter baskets all of them IMS the shower screen is IMS as well but you need to consider buying a grinder as well you cannot play with uh, La Pavoni using uh, pre-grounded coffee. You actually can use pre-grounded coffee on a Sage using the double-walled uh, filter baskets. When you turn it on, Sage is ready to go basically almost immediately. But it takes some time to heat up the group head and the porta filter. You may pull a few dummy shots to, to speed up the process, but it takes a time. It's, I would say 15 minutes before everything is it's as hot as it should be. La Pavoni takes about six minutes to uh, heat up the, the boiler. And another few minutes, let's say five, ten minutes to, to heat up the group head and uh, and the porta filter but with la pavoni we uh, obviously we most of us we would be doing some few dummy shots to to speed up the process and to reach the desired temperature now talking about the temperature sage it's got pid that, that machine has got almost everything so pid not very precise but you can control you can change the water temperature so you have to press the combination of buttons first you turn machine off then you press and hold program button 
then you press while holding you also press the power button and you've got a five seconds window to change the temperature so depending what the temperature was set at the beginning this one is plus one plus two minus one minus two degrees so and i do recommend to pull a, a dummy shot or two before you pull up espresso just to adjust the temperature but yeah you you have a pid this one this one you've got this temperature strap that changes the colors depending on what stack that the uh, temperature right now and as far as i know it only is available that strap is only available on the uh, esperto so uh, for other machines you probably need to buy it it's not expensive but you need to buy it so at the moment uh, the green color shows that my group had is about 85 degrees which is almost almost as much as i would like and this one's got a two liter uh, water tank at the back this one's got a boiler and the boiler is 1.6 liters um, in my opinion slightly easier to put the water into the lapavoni you take off the eagle you unscrew it when machine is cold otherwise there will be a pressure you burn yourself and you you put the water in this one the the water tank is on the back so it's depending where the machine is it may take some effort to well it's not much but it may take some some effort to take it out put the water in push it back uh, this one's got a water filter very very useful in london la pavoni and doesn't so you have to think about what kind of water you want to put inside the similarities there is a pressure gauge on both of them this one i like it for the aesthetics but i don't really rely on that so um, when you first get a sage you watch the uh, instruction video uh, from sage uh, which, which tells you that the uh, pressure should be precisely 12 o'clock and that's the best brewing pressure ignore it i mean somewhere in that range i'm usually i'm usually going well over the, the the recommended pressure this one's got two gauges so one shows you uh, the pressure in the brew boiler and it should be in that if you can see it should be in that green uh, region that's when the machine is ready i mean you don't really look at that uh, maybe if you develop some issues or if you want to see if maybe it's too much pressure build up otherwise you when the green light on the machine is on it's usually ready to to pull a shot the important one is this pressure gauge which shows you the the pressure uh, during the brew process um, and that's what i really really like about this machine so this machine actually allows you to do first of all to to know exactly where you are pressure wise and then to do some some sort of pressure profiling so you can start with long pre-infusion maybe two bars first then you slowly ramp it up to let's say nine and then you lower it down uh, until the end of the shot this one uh, this one can go all the way to 14 bars on uh, la pavoni it would be difficult to get more than 10 this one it goes to 14 bars so um, there might be an issue with the channeling here um, there is a way to lower the pressure without any modification so what i like to do i like to use when i start the shot press and hold let's say this one and then it will give you that long pre-infusion and then at some point i just release it and then the pressure goes all the way up so that also allows me to do some some sort of pressure profiling but not as easy and effective as on uh, la pavone so two distinctively different machines two great machines sage has been with me for the last six 
uh, more than that, almost nine months. I've been using it for five, then I bought a different one, but uh, very, very good, very, very good machine. The first maybe a week or so, especially if you're new to the game, uh, the first week might be challenging, but then you, you've you got a very, very nice shot. Uh, steaming. On La Pavoni, the steam is ready when the machine is ready. Uh, this is a single boiler, so you either brew the coffee or you do the steaming. This one, where well, there's no boiler here, there's a thermo block, but you can either uh, brew a coffee or to do the steaming. To do the steaming, it takes some time. I mean, I will show you. So to steam, you turn it on and then you wait and you wait and you wait. until at some point it will make few strange noises here some water first not yet and now we've got the steam takes about 70 seconds to, to steam a cup of, of milk some more noise and now the machine is ready to brew a coffee again actually lots of noises yeah. this one is very quiet and when you want some steam you've got steam uh, not extremely faster but significantly faster to steam the milk on La Pavoni versus uh, sage. But because I'm, uh, I'm not a very good at steaming milk, it actually, it's actually kind of easier for me to steam the milk on the, on the, on the sage. So today we're going to pull a few shots. We will use my uh, Eureka Oro as a grinder and we're going to compare the quality of shots so now which coffee are we going to use uh, for today i have chosen the christmas special i just received it today i have ordered about three kg of coffee for christmas no no i'm not going to drink that much but uh, you know the in uk royal mail before christmas you may expect uh, a one or two parcels to go missing so I've ordered so much coffee just in case so I don't want to risk running out of the, the, the coffee and I'm planning to do a few videos showcasing a, a different coffees from different roasters um, so this one as I said Christmas special from a caravan coffee roasters kind of well known um, I only had one uh, coffee bag from them before and it was awesome it was uh, from ethiopia naturally processed really really good so this one is a blend uh, it's a blend colombia and sumatra some of them naturally processed i think some of them like uh, honey processed um, very interesting suppo supposedly very interesting coffee ginger cake marble syrup and a candied orange well what what not to like and it seems like a perfect blend for for espresso now it has been so i'm recording it today is a 20th of of december uh it has been roasted on a 16th so it's not in a pick yet it's a bit fresh uh it's a nice long pre-infusion on the Mm, on the La Pavoni might help to release some of the gas and make the shot better um, we can play as I said we can play with the longer pre-infusion on the uh, on the sage as well so maybe we will do it so I will use 15 grams of coffee I will be aiming for around 30 grams maybe a little bit below 30 grams uh, of, of liquid so let's measure some coffee and let's grind it. Um, 
the grind settings uh, again I haven't even opened that coffee bag yet so I have no idea but uh, I've noticed that for La Pavone I have to grind finer than for uh, Barista Express so La Pavone is ready the shot is uh, the coffee is in the portal filter I will use the clear cup just to show you exactly how the how the shot looks like uh, I put the scale in it's 90 degrees so it's as as nice as it should be just in case if there is any excess pressure let's, let's release it okay coffee in glass in let's stir it I will introduce some water. I will wait maybe 15 seconds, maybe a bit longer. Okay. And now slowly two bars. Okay. It will be too fast. So the, the shot a little bit too fast so we will do it we will do it again so let's try it one more time i had to lower the temperature of the group head a little bit so i just use the, the water the bowl with the cold water i hold it here for for a few seconds just to lower the, the temperature of the group head so now i'm locking it in and now let's do it again so i'm introducing the water and let's start the shot so two bars first first drops then i Increase the pressure to nine. It's a little bit of channel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But then slowly. Yes, yeah, so about 25 seconds. And with all the drops, I will get about 30 grams of coffee. So let's try the shot so guys it, it it smells it smells incredible it honestly i can smell oranges <laughs> all around me it, it it really smells like like christmas so very 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 good coffee uh, the shot is on the second time it went pretty much as i as i want it to be maybe slight channeling but not not bad let's taste so it's 11 at night when i'm recording it so i don't want to drink too much oh my god uh, that, that's that's heaven guys Not sure if I taste ginger, but marmalade, orange, some some sort of sweetness, so many flavors. I'm sad because I cannot finish that shot and I still have to taste another one. I didn't want to wait. I want to taste the shots at the best as they are. Uh, I will remember that. I won't forget this one. Oh. it's if you if you have a chance even if you have to pay extra for dpd or whatever just order the christmas blend it's really nice and it's still not in the best it's still a few days maybe a week before it reaches the full potential well in a week from now it probably the coffee will be gone but mm. 
if you are an espresso drinker, if you like a neat espresso, you will love it. You will love it. So my recommendation. So now let's pull a shot on a barista express. So first we just flush it. And you see much, much, much louder. So if you want to use it, I don't know, at night, well, at night, probably not. <laughs> it's just me who use it at night. But if you want to use it in the morning when uh, the people around are sleeping, it might be, might or might not be an issue, this one. Or you, 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 you can barely hear it. And I will, do the, I will do some sort of pressure profiling on this one as well. Just to give it the best chance. So we'll press and hold this one. If you can see the pressure gauge, it won't go all the way. And now so definitely, definitely too far. So take number two on a sage. Uh, so I, I um, change the grind settings, I, 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 I grind finer, but I also increase the dosage to 17 and a half. So this time we will be aiming for about 35-ish uh, grams of espresso. Well, I have to say that looking at the crema, looking at the crema, the shot looks possibly even even better. Cheers, guys! Smells again. Smells fantastic. It's, it's very good. It's no, it's, it's, it's almost as good. I thought I would say that the La Pavone is definitely much better tasting, but and you see, I, I had to use that longer pre infusion. Um, the differences and and the, the La Pavone is better, okay? It tastes better. I can taste more uh, variety of flavors, different layers of flavors. Here there is a little bit more bitterness, but again, that may be because I, I, the shot was a bit longer. I, 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 I can taste it one more time. So I'm getting more of that... Uh, uh, sour, not nice sourness, and the bitterness at the end. So that's that's the main taste I get from here. And with the La Pavone, I got all that complex of sweetness, and oranges and marmalade, and who knows what else. Everything nice, nicely developing, moving from one flavor to another. This one, um, that 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 nice sourness, the dominant flavor and a little bit of the bitterness at the back if i only had this one i would say it's a wonderful shot but this one i think it takes that very good coffee into a next level it's it's a it's a small difference okay it's a small difference but it is a difference so now guys which machine i would uh, recommend that depends on where you are on the coffee game if you are a beginner if you are a beginner then uh, barista express is definitely something i would i would recommend rather than going into uh, la pavoni barista express much easier to dial in uh, much easier to work on, 
much easier to get used to the, the all the nuances uh, that that we making a home espresso requires. Uh, looks great, and it is on a special offer, probably three times cheaper than La Pavone. And you get a grinder. <laughs> I mean, there's not, not many machines out there who can beat uh, a sage pound for pound uh, for the price. La Pavone. La Pavone is the next step. So let's say you bought this, you used it for a year or two, and maybe you want to experiment. Maybe you want to challenge yourself. Uh, and then you go for the for the things like the Lapavoni. It makes wonderful shots, but it can be frustrating at the beginning, especially if I, if I was new to that, uh, new to coffee. I'm not sure if I would be able to enjoy this. Okay, it's it's there are those nuances, uh, playing with the temperature, um, grind settings, uh, pressure. Uh, things like that but if you if you manage to master it it can make the shots are divine the shots are mellow uh, no you do you won't find the harshness that you would normally get from uh, from sage if you, you remember i had to use some sort of uh, long pre-infusion on the sage to make the shot the best possible but if you just press this the pressure would go straight to 14 bars and the shot would taste much worse um, a few things that you, you you need to remember first you need to get a grinder if you get a la pavoni the second is um, think about where you're going to keep it this one is a kind of a safe machine I mean, there is a, you can put the cups here to warm them up, but it's not hot. It's warm, but it's not hot. This one, when you turn it on, it gets extremely hot. So if you, I don't know, if you have little ones running around or if you are uh, as clumsy as myself, I, I don't even remember how many times I managed to burn myself uh, on, on this one. And that leads me to another thing. I don't know why uh, anytime I want to clean it, I, I, I only want to clean it when the machine is hot and I always forget it's hot and I want to clean it. Why, why the cleaning process, I don't know why they call it stainless steel. So maybe you know the answer to the question. It's, it's, it's anything but. It's anything but. It's, it, you can see every single stain on that. So every time if i want to record a video i have to wipe this one very easy to to keep clean this this is a home uh, appliance machine this one it's italian handmade and it looks like a piece of art uh, i i really love this machine <laughs> as you can see but i also love my my sage over the christmas period if the Royal Mail delivers my, my parcels, we will play with different coffees. Uh, hopefully I will find something as good as the one that I open right now. At some point, we, I will dial the, the most expensive coffee that I've ever bought in my life. About 300 pounds per, per kilo. Um, so maybe on a Christmas day, if, if I'm not too hangover. Uh, so if you haven't done it yet, uh, definitely click like and consider subscribing. My goal for this year is to get 100 people to subscribe. I'm almost there, uh, but the more the better. So consider subscribing. You can uh, turn the notifications on so you know exactly when my next video is coming. Lots of fun stuff for, for the Christmas period. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack. This is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.